Hello everybody and today I'm going to be talking through with you the features and benefits of the Seawood Apollo 400 pat tester. There's three pat testers in the Apollo range so there's the 400, the 500 and the 600. Now these have recently been superseded by the uh, the plus range so you can get the 400, the 500 and the 600 plus. However, if you've got an older machine like I have, then you can easily upgrade the firmware uh, to the plus range, which gives you more compatibility with the add-on hardware features like the, uh, the barcode scanners and the label printers and such like. But today we'll just stick with the, uh, the outline features of the 400. Now this is a programmable and downloadable tester. So that means that you can edit and create um, test functions to suit your needs. Um, so if you're testing more of a particular type of equipment, um, like 110 volt tools or cables, then you can add in and edit tests um, to suit that, to make it easier for you when you're testing the equipment and to make it a bit quicker for you. So the Apollo range has a nice QWERTY keyboard, um, nice sturdy buttons. So we're gonna switch it on. I'm just going to run you through the menu functions here. And what's also great about this machine as well is the battery life is really good. You'll get a whole day's testing from uh, the battery. And uh, so there we are on the home screen. Um, so it gives you the option here of the pat testing there. Now you can either do the pre-programmed sequences or you can do the manual pat testing. So that's if you just want to do some quick tests on a few items, but if you just want to do um, pre-programmed testing, if you're testing an office or event equipment, um, DJ equipment, such as what we do a lot of, um, you would use that button there. And what it will give you there is you'll be able to type in your asset ID. So if you've got uh, pat testing labels or asset numbers, you can type them in there. Test sequence here. So you can, um, so if we go down to that, there we are, and there's all the test sequences in there. So you've got class one and class two um, electronic and standard tests. So that would obviously alter the insulation uh, test from 250 volt to 500 volt. 13 amp extension leads, a uh, couple for RCD extension leads and surge protected. Um, and then I've added in some 16 amp um, program test as well um, because obviously the resistance values will change for that. Um, then you've got RCD and visual only um, tests and then there's some other little things here and I've programmed in some 110 volt um, extension cables as well now if we want me to do that on, on site. Um, then you can add in your site or the location of where you are so if you're in as it says here flat 19 and it was in a kitchen and then you can set your retest period and visual um, retest uh, dates. On the back of the unit, you see you've got your 13 amp socket to plug in your appliances. Um, you've got an IEC socket for testing IEC or, or kettle lead cables as they're otherwise known. So you can do your earth continuity checks on there. You've got your earth bond cables on the back and the uh, power cable. Uh, so you need to plug in the machine if you're doing leakage tests. Um, and then you've got the USB socket on the back. So it allows you to connect to uh, a laptop to download your uh, test results after finishing. So you could use the download function here. And then you'll be able to uh, download onto a laptop. And then I use the PatGuard software from Seawood. So you'll be able to create your test results and your certificates for your customers. So I hope that helps just give you a little overview of what the Apollo Pat Tester does and uh, thanks for watching.